Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so my name is Radko. I'm an uh, interaction designer at Mercedes-Benz of uh, and research and development of North America. And uh, so I'm going to show a little bit of the dashboard concept here. Now you've uh, been on the drive before, and you've actually seen how it is to be in a more social environment in the car. And uh, but at the same time, we realize that you may not always be in uh, you know driving with other people. You may drive by yourself, or you may be engaged in, in uh, you know driving by yourself. And in that case, we want to offer the opportunity for interaction with the dashboard in a more traditional way. But just like we did with the, the rest of the car, we don't really have any buttons and switches in the car. And the reason is that we would like to keep the distractions to the minimum, uh, as little as possible, uh, but still allow you to interact with the basic pieces of uh, the, you know, the car that you may want to interact with. At the same time, you've seen how uh, the whole cabin is actually designed as a, like a spacious comfort around the comfort. And uh, that's why the dashboard is actually so far out. Uh, it's, it's far away for me to actually preserve this, this comfort as well. And uh, we had to rethink a little bit about the uh, interaction uh, uh, modality for this. And that's why we're trying to do this thing with uh, eye tracking so that the car understands what you're looking at. Uh, so if I'm looking at different pieces, they sort of highlight. And uh, that tells the car that I'm actually interested in interacting with this piece. And uh, simple, there are simple sort of hand gestures that you can perform to actually uh, interact with uh, these pieces, right? So I can change the, the volume. It's all supposed to be very, it's supposed to be very casual. In general, the idea is to, to have these mid-air gestures to uh, casually interact with things and then go back to doing whatever you're doing, whether it's like to be the iPad or or however you're spending time, right? Uh, at the same time, there are, you know, things like navigation often come up, like how do you navigate? So the idea is that, uh, you know, we envision that in 2030 or, or later, uh, a lot of this will already be taken care of outside of, uh, like, the car. Mm -hmm. And uh, the car will already know what is contextually important to you and uh, can alert you about those things. So for instance, like it's telling me right now that there is, a, you know, perhaps a coffee break that I want to take based on my, um, you know, maybe uh, attention levels or something like this, or how long to get in the vehicle. And then you actually can take those uh, exits or turns uh, as they come up. I see. So. So in terms of the, the hardware involved, um, you're using eye tracking and motion tracking. So whereabouts is that installed in the, the dashboard? So we actually have the eye tracking uh, all around. It's actually, uh, the, so there are cameras and uh, infrared sort of sensors in there. If you sit maybe in the middle, like straight up. I see. So if I. Oh, I mean, I mean. Oh, in your seat. Oh, I, in my. Yeah. Okay. So if right. I. And he has. I think that it's a little bit troublesome with glasses. Right. Um, that's why it's it's been a little bit difficult uh, for me as well, if you think. But it's looking at it, so, and the your sensor will be here on this side. Uh, it's actually right now. It currently works with uh, your left hand. It's that's I see. that's how we sort of designed it. Um, so there we go. When he highlights a little bit, um, you had it there for a second. And they highlight a little bit, and just keep your hand there for. Uh, there is a little bit of learning, right? Mm -hmm. But so you can see actually, this is the eye highlight, and then a little bit subtle is when the hand shows up. And you just simply hold it and. Uh, or you can do like swipe between different. Uh, so this is the fan speed. Uh, you right. can actually feel this, this, the fans kicking up. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the map is a uh, similar gesture, but it's, uh, we're actually zooming in. So it's like a pushing the map away. And then if you want to zoom in, it's pulling it closer to you. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a learning curve for sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously the idea would be to to keep things as simple as possible with the least amount of uh, learning. Right. Um, but like I said, it is today's technology, so it's yeah. There there are some challenges there for sure. Um, but yeah.
feel like the car's finally warmed to me, like a, like a pet. It could be a little bit of a 